oh, I see better color, I see more activity, my fish breed. I have a full line pet store. I have fish tanks where I have epistogrammas breeding. I have fry. I have lots of fun stuff going on. Hi everybody, John here with another FinCast uh, at the Global Pet Expo in Orlando, Florida 2017. A long way from my home in Virginia, but totally worth it because all around me are the, the people that make the fish business, the aquarium business happen in the United States. And I've spent several days here talking to them, interviewing them, taking pictures of the products, and, and there will be a, a lot of different things that we talk about from the show. So I hope you don't get tired of it, but trust me, uh, I think that everything I'm bringing to you is something new and informational that you don't already know. But today I want to talk about a fish that's on display here in the uh, aquatic lounge where there are dozens and dozens of aquariums from fish vendors all around the United States. And very, most of them here, we're in Florida, most of them actually come from Florida. But I want to talk about the freshwater pipe fish. Now you've seen pipefish, which is kind of a cousin to a seahorse uh, in, in many aquariums if you've been to a public aquarium in saltwater. Uh, but you don't very often see a pipefish in freshwater and one of the vendors here is Seagrist Farms which sells to stores all around the country and they are displaying a couple of pipefish and they are pretty cool. So I've always been a really big fan of pipefish both marine and fresh. Uh, the really cool thing about pipes is that they're pretty much located all along the equator. Uh, there's lots of different species, hundreds of different species of pipes. Some of them are equestrian, they kind of go in between freshwater and saltwater. Uh, these particular ones behind us are mostly fresh. I would imagine that uh, they do travel between a brackish and freshwater environment perhaps as the tides change, uh, but we do keep them in full freshwater at Seagrass as well as most of our customers. Uh, I've kept them full freshwater as well. Uh, really cool thing about them is that they, they bond for life. So every morning you get to watch these guys, the male display for the female in a courtship ritual. So it's just really entertaining. They're very, very social. And one of the other things that I really like about them is they have almost a neck and they have two eyes that almost work like chameleon eyes and you can watch them move around and very actively digest their their local surroundings so for those of you that really enjoy just sitting in front of your aquarium and watching something interesting they really are the perfect fish for you uh, if you were just going to do a pair, uh, you wouldn't need a very big aquarium at all. Most of these pipefish actually stay quite small, well under a foot. Um, uh, there are some larger species. There's also some really small species of freshwater pipefish, such as uh, the Cameroon dwarf pygmy pipe, uh, which is a beautiful red uh, with, with nice blue spots and or blue stripes, and they only get maybe three inches or so. So if you're looking to keep a pair of them, you're probably looking at uh, maybe just 20 gallons or so, maybe even a 10-gallon tank or smaller if you're keeping the pygmies. Uh, so you can really you can keep these guys in an array of different tank sizes. So I, I'm gonna we keep these guys pretty pretty uh, alkaline on the water scale, so it's going to be somewhere around seven eight. I do think that they'd appreciate some 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 salt in the aquarium. I think that uh, you're probably going to want to keep your salt levels somewhere between four to six parts per thousand. Uh, and they also enjoy water changes. You have to think a lot of these fish are going to come from areas that are affected by the tides, so they have a lot of flushing of water. Uh, so I would say doing a weekly water change would be very beneficial. And one of the ways you can kind of keep it interesting is you could do water changes with different salinities. So you could do a water change one week with these guys with a full marine salt, and they'll actually enjoy those water fluxes quite a bit. Uh, so they, they, they're they overall, as, as long as you get a healthy fish, they're pretty resilient to water parameters, but you can have some fun with them in the aquarium nonetheless. That's where pipefish get a little tricky. Uh, because they are so similar to seahorses, they have a very small mouth. Uh, so most of the time, I'm going to say that your best bet as, as far as starting foods are concerned, because these are all wild caught, you're going to want a live food for sure. Um, pipes about the size of the ones that we have here at the show today can probably handle blackworms no problem, and that's probably where I would recommend you start. If you're dealing with some of the smaller ones, something like nopuli are probably going to be your best bet, or adult brine may work as well. Uh, but definitely probably start with a live food and try to transition them onto frozen or prepared foods later on. So there's a look at the freshwater pipefish. That might be something that would induce me to maybe set up a small aquarium, like my wife will think that I need one more aquarium. But that is a pretty interesting fish, and I'd like to see that dance that you, you hear about in, in the morning when the lights first come on. So uh, that, that would be something that would be, uh, be pretty interesting. I wasn't able to witness it here. 
please look me up on Facebook and Instagram. Just search for Fincasters and, and give me a follow or a like. I would appreciate it. Check out all the other videos. There are over 150 videos now in the library, and most of them are evergreen, meaning uh, they're information about a fish. It never goes out of style. It's always relevant and hopefully helpful to you in, in your fish keeping, or at least just interesting as you're trying to watch YouTube and learn more about the aquarium trade. So I appreciate you watching, and I'll see you in the next Fincast.